Alright, welcome back to this continuation of Dragon Ball Z. We just got done fighting the Cybermen, and we're going to jump right in here and fight some Nappa. And I know what you guys are thinking, where did my shirt go? Well, I figured, you know, if we were fighting in a battle like this, it probably was torn off or something crazy like that. And let's be honest, this is to milk some female, get some, get some women to watch my episodes. This is for you, ladies. God, I'm looking sexy. Ugh. This is exactly what I want to look like when I grow up. <laughs> Shut up, Trunks. I'm, I'm done. I'm done, Trunks. <laughs> oh, wait. Why didn't I just grab him? I guess probably still do that. <laughs> no, but this is one of the my favorite scenes in Dragon Ball Z. It lets you know that Piccolo was able to love, you know? I mean, he sacrificed himself for, uh, for Gohan, the, the son of his nemesis, and I don't know what's more powerful than that. Good on you, Piccolo. Nappa, you're gonna die for saying that. That makes me wonder how strong my character is. Did I start off really weak and I just get stronger after every battle? Because right now I'm fighting Nappa, and I am overpowering Nappa. But uh, it makes me wonder, like, do I, am I holding back? Or do I just get stronger because it, it demands me to be? Am I that... Am I that way because I want to protect these people? I don't know. There's got to be something that has to do with it. We'll see, though. You guys will see in later episodes. You guys. You guys. Alright, so he's going to take on Vegeta. And I'm going to take on Nappa. Let's go, Nappa. You and that beautiful midriff. See, in the original episode, he fought... He fought against, he let Nappa die to Goku because he didn't, he underestimated Goku. But in this one, he doesn't. And I think that this might have given him a lot of trouble in the original episode. Kakarot, don't tell me you've come here to make some pathetic joke about or something. My bad, bro. Piccolo, Tien, Yamcha, Chelsea, and Kami. Yeah, Kami died too. It sucks, but we gotta we're gonna adventure him right here, Goku. Stop dodging me, dude. <laughs> oh my god. He might beat me. This is I wasn't expecting this. Let's go. And he blocks my attack. Beautiful. Oh god god, Nappa is so strong. Stop. <laughs> Alright, cool. I think we got the upper hand. I think we're gonna finish him right here. Nice! Alright, now let's go help Goku. Shut up, Nappa, you're dead. Alright, we got your back, Goku. Yeah, nice! I thought I was gonna die there for a little bit. I remember starting this game, and I struggled so bad against Nappa, because... You know, I expected to beat him, and then all of a sudden his health came back. And now, uh, then I had to fight Vegeta right after that. It's crazy. Oh, real quick. You gotta watch this. We're done. Um, I'm done talking. Just enjoy. Not gonna lie, I probably could have just, like, speared Vegeta right here. Kyra, what? <laughs> The diamond. But yeah, um, that was probably one of the most epic Kamehas Goku ever unleashed. I, I like. I'm a fan of the Cell Kameha versus when it was him and Gohan. But you gotta keep. You gotta keep it. You gotta. Alright, I'm gonna go absolutely ham in this fight just so that you know maybe I can. Uh, have enough time to finish this saga. Alright, cool. Where's the devil? In that case, I guess 
I'll just have to become a great ape! See, there's that artificial moon I was talking about, and... What? Why didn't he just... Why did why does he in GT why does he need the bliss the blitz ways or whatever they're called to become a Super Saiyan 4? Can't he just use that? I mean this dude can, can this guy can make artificial moons, I mean. Why are we not funding this? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go, bro. I got you. All right, so a little a little trick that a lot of people didn't know. I think if you stagger him, yeah. Also, catching if you catch him off guard, you can throw his attack with his tail and greatly reduce his stamina. That does a ton of damage, and we're gonna try to do it. Oh, and if you're doing this mission. That killed Grandpa! And the one that destroyed the arena! That was. That was Alright, we're about to stagger him. This. Alright, let me see his tail. Where's his tail? It's huge, yeah. But. You can defeat him, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I don't remember how to do it. Whatever. Alright, so this is what's gonna frustrate people. We're sitting here fighting them, and then Gohan and Krillin wanna fight. Gohan, we have to I'll defeat them before Krillin and Gohan get, yeah. get beaten. So I'm gonna go as hard as I can for this. He became a great ape, but but he'll turn back and cut his tail off. Come on, let's go cut off that tail. Yeah. Hey guys, let Krillin cut off the tail. All you have to do is fight to protect him. All right, I'm gonna charge up for my super, my super bank kind of attack. All right, let's go finish him. Finish him! Finish him! Yes! Yes! We got it! Nice! Good job, me. Lame. Great job, Krillin. You're being useful in this episode. <laughs> and they don't have an animation for him turning back into Vegeta, so they have to just make him smaller. I think we have enough time to finish this off, so we're gonna do that real quick and then end the episode quickly. Come on. Don't a you B? Have your moves? Uh, if you maybe if you teach me one. I'm sorry, go tanks. Alright guys, we're gonna have to end it here. I'll see you guys next episode.